I basically did away with amps. I'd been using bias effects for and bias amps for four or five years. Um, prior to that, I was using Tune Tracks Easy Mix stuff like the Metal Gods Pack and uh, the Metal Pack and things like that. So I'd been kind of on board with the whole amp sims and like modelers and stuff for a while, but I never had the physical hardware. I just always use software. And then uh, th I figured, you know what, let me get something that if I do get into a situation where I end up in a band again, I can take those sounds with me and use them in live settings and rehearsals and things like that. So I had been watching the Line 6 Helix on uh, Reverb to see if I could snag one for a decent price used, and I did. But even that, I labored over that for quite a while. I did, before I can make a purchase like that, I have to really dig in. And I probably spent three months watching YouTube videos, reading reviews, reading spec lists, reading what each thing was capable of. And yeah, I, I researched the Helix, the Headrush, Kempers, the even... Uh, bias they had put out a head um, axe effects and I mean I I thought my brain was gonna explode I read and took in so much information on all these different things and I really kind of felt like the helix was the way to go that was what was gonna suit my needs and just from messing around with one at a guitar store like I knew I could most likely get out of it what I needed the capabilities that it had were it ticked every box that I was looking at, so that's the route that I went, and I couldn't be happier. You know, I'll probably eventually complement it with a uh, either a Seymour Duncan Power Stage or an Orange Pedal Baby, and a two or four by twelve cap, probably a two by twelve, because who really needs a four by twelve anymore? If I get into a band situation, but as of right now, that setup's working for me. Just guitar into the Helix, and USB into the computer. Took me a long time to really get comfortable with where I was at with my tones and my sounds. Even now, like going back and listening to the stuff that I recorded fairly recently before I got the uh, the Helix, I'm like, Ugh. and it's nice because I did everything with uh, DI tracks and then ran them through the Bias Amps software. So I had the DI tracks, so I can reamp them through the Helix, and I've been doing that, and that's what really kind of solidified my stance that. I'm probably going to stick with the EMGs because listening to some of these tracks again uh, while reamping them, it's especially like the the tracks I've done so far have been like the EMG uh, Super 77s and the 5766 set. It, it just boggled my mind how great it sounded. Probably also helps that I finally bought like actual studio monitors too, but I wish I would have had this confidence or this knowledge years ago to just finally be like, okay, this is what I like, this is what works best for me, and this is what's getting what's in my head onto the soft or onto my audio workstation and getting it out there. And it's it's a great feeling to finally just be completely at peace with it. You know, because there was always like, oh, I wish I had a little bit more of this in that tone or that in that tone. And I have everything basically figured out to these pickups and this guitar with this tuning work for what I wanted to do and so on and so forth and wish I could go back and find 14 15 year old me and be like dude this is what you got to do but uh, you know it, it, it took a while to get there but it feels good once you finally get there and I think that's one of the great things about guitar playing is you know once you reach that point where you've like, okay, you've carved your path, and whether you're playing in your bedroom or whether you're playing in front of 50,000 people, once you get that point where it's like, this is uniquely me, it's, it's a great feeling. And I don't, there's not much, as far as hobbies go, that can really capture that feeling. So the Line 6 Helix, why I went with that instead of, because I knew whatever I was going to buy, I was going to have to live with. So I did a lot of research, and there was actually a brief moment where 
I did just kind of stop and take a step back and go, alright, well, I really liked what I was getting out of my orange. So I thought about just rolling with the orange. Well, I want to. I, I wouldn't mind getting a rocker ver, but for the price, I was leaning more towards the crush head, and then a nice cabinet like a 212. But uh, the more I thought about it, I was like, you know, the a modeler or a sim or whatever is probably going to suit my needs more. Um, then I seen a dual rectifier on Facebook Marketplace in my area for like 850 bucks. I was like, maybe. But I like having the options that the Helix provides me. And after I did all the research, the Kemper was probably the closest and second uh, because of the options available to it as far as modeling different types of amps and what was at my disposal if I went with the Kemper. But the Helix offered me more variety in that uh, the way the snapshots are laid out and there are the different things you can do with like snapshots and your patches and stuff I just felt like the helix was the way to go for me especially being able to use helix edit on the PC make things a lot easier um, so I was so I was pretty much set that the helix was the way to go and that's the option that I went with and I couldn't be happier uh, it lets me Kind of, I know it's not like you're not using the real amps and all that stuff, and purists are gonna be like, Ugh. but for what I'm doing and for what I'm trying to do, it works out perfectly. It, I can take the sounds with me that I'm using to record and use them in a live setting if that would ever happen. Um, it lets me experiment more without having to put a ton of money in the amps. Um, ironically, I yeah, I mean, it's probably because it's a great sounding amp, but I come to find out one of my favorite tones is a uh, Rev Generator and the Paul Reed Smith Archon. And those are amps I never would have had the opportunity to try. It has its quirks. I mean, it's finicky when you first boot up your computer and you plug it into the USB. It doesn't always read and all this other stuff, but I mean, it works. And it's nice having that almost endless tone choices at your fingertips or toe tips, I guess if you're using the stomps. But I've never been one that was afraid of technology. And I've never been attached to, like, it has to be a tube amp or anything like that. In fact, for the most part, I've used solid-state amps my entire life. Or digital amps or sims and stuff like that. So, I mean, I didn't feel like I was really losing out on anything by going with the, the Helix as far as, like, oh, it's not a tube amp. You know, I think these things have come far enough that outside of purists who's gonna know the average person that's listening to your music or coming to your show they're not gonna know and as long as the music's good and it sounds good they don't really give a fuck plus with the helix I get the flexibility of having for the most part the same options that I had with bias amp but I also like I said can take it with me and I do like that so I think it's something that people should strongly consider if they're looking in the an easy way to uh, record at home or even the gig you know the perk of using it at home it saved me on having if I would have went with a real amp then I would have to buy an input and a microphone or a audio interface and a microphone and all this other shit whereas with the helix you know just plug in a USB cord and you're good to go you're ready to roll it's a little bit more consistent I don't have to worry about bumping a mic or anything the sound that I dial in on Monday is still gonna be there on Thursday yeah that's that's nice you know I don't have to worry about the kids or a dog or anything like that bumping a microphone and then having to either start from scratch if I don't finish tracking or whatever you know but that's I mean that's been my guitar journey from little dinky <laughs> starter Epiphone Strat to the collection I have now and little crate amplifier to a Line 6 Helix it's it's been a good learning experience and I, I wish that the knowledge that I have now I could have had 20 years ago, but it is what it is, and it's been fun, and it's nice to rediscover a passion. <laughs>